Welcome to Long Beach, California. A little bit of a different view than I'm used to seeing here in Long Beach. And that is because we're actually inside El Dorado Regional Park. Fairly typical park with grass and playgrounds and a lake or two. But as you may have guessed, I'm not here for the swing sets or the picnic areas. Knott's Berry Farm you've heard of, Disneyland, Universal Studios, but did you know Southern California has a new tiny secret theme park that's been flying under the radar right here in El Dorado Park. And that's where we're going today welcome to the El Dorado Frontier the tanniest theme park in the old west just look at this this is my first time setting foot in here and I'm already blown away look at this incredible miniature Western theme park all of this was constructed only in the last two or three years basically since just before the pandemic all right we've got to take a look around here look at this we've got the old farmers homestead complete with all the props and the farmers laundry and it turns out inside is this rad themed area you can rent out for private parties dude look at that I would have been stoked on this when I was little heck I'd be stoked on it now but I'm getting to the age where birthdays are getting kind of sad you know <laughs> look at this place they've got carnival games themed entertainment a whole area where you can pan for treasure an absolutely amazing one-of-a-kind old western carousel a little handcart ride for the tiny prospectors in your party and of course the one ingredient that every themed attraction should have if possible the miniature train ride departing from right here at the Ruvalo Valley train station station. This actually, the train itself, was the genesis of the entire El Dorado frontier. The train has actually been here since 1995, but that's a long story we'll tell in a little while. This is incredible. It's a very small space. I could literally throw a baseball from one end of it to another, and I have pretty weak arms, but the attention to detail, the art direction, the style and substance of it all is absolutely incredible everything from the paint choices to the wacky wooden construction to the historical details like this platoon here dude i knew what i was coming down here to see and i'm still absolutely blown away this is one of the cutest most epic DIY little attractions I have ever laid my eyes on and they're still building it. But in addition to the rides and games and party areas and private picnic areas, the El Dorado Frontier also frequently hosts other entertainment like they have a guy who comes in and takes old timey tin type photos on actual tin type material. Sometimes there's live music and DJs. And not all the time, but every once in a while, if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of the rarest creature in all of Long Beach, the wild, the woolly, Tuba! Tuba! Tuba Loth of Goon Hauler! How you doing, Tuba? I'm doing swell, pal. How's it going? I am loving it out here at the frontier. Oh, you're tall, Tuba. You're a big giant what are you a sasquatch um, a, yeah i guess a grass they, person they call me they call me a squatcher a fur man a fur person a fur person i like that i'll go with that what are you doing here at the frontier oh i'm just hanging out playing a little ukulele ukulele Making are you gonna friends. play big ugly later big yeah sure i'll do it later okay so you came all the way from goon hauler to long beach california to hang out with the kids how often are you out here i know it's not all the time it's oh. rare yeah, I'm about here every, every month or so I've been here, you know. Yeah, you know, how do you just, like the frontier? Oh, I love it. It's a little bit of heaven, and it's a little bit of the Old West. The Old West! Whoa, it took the words right out of my mouth. Don't tell Tuba over here, but he's actually the creation of the artist Parker Jacobs, the same guy who created Yo Gabba Gabba, did the Aquabath Super Show, worked for Paul Frank, and now he's created Tubaloth of Goon Holler, which, if you read the comic book, has a little sneaky Random Land reference in it. Hey, Tuba, you going for a ride? I sure am. You're going to play music on the train? <laughs> hey, how did you do that? Like the train whistle. <laughs> I swallowed. <laughs> you swallowed a train whistle? Yeah. Dude, I am so impressed with this place. And not only am I stoked to be here because I get to meet Tuba and see Southern California's secret theme park in person for the first time, but I'm also fulfilling a decades-long wish to ride this train. See, like I mentioned, this train was already here in El Dorado Park for years before it was transformed into the El Dorado Frontier. But it was just a plain Jane train kind of tucked away in a remote corner of the park. And when our parents would bring us to the nature center here or something like that, we'd see it from a distance, but never actually rode it. 
So I think today is the day. I'm finally going to climb aboard. This is it. It's finally happening. Cheers. How was your train ride, Tuba? Oh, I can't complain about the train. Uh, you did it? That's right. Oh my gosh, this is sweet. I think they're actually going to let me blow the whistle. If I'm going down, I'm going to blow the whistle on everybody. Whoa, wow, what'd I do? <laughs> that was awesome. All right, time to take a seat in the back. Whoa. I think I got a little bit heavy during the pandemic. <laughs> Woo! Oh, before we take off, dude, look at the incredible detail here. Look at all the props and just the paint deco and all that. It's incredible. Look at that music maker right there. Sick. All right, and now time for a little backstory on the old train. This thing was actually handmade by one guy, Philip J. Martin, in 19. 37 and it actually ran in an Orange County Park Sycamore Park in the 1940s before being moved by the 1980s to an old Western theme park in Colton California called movie land frontier town which no longer exists these days but even before movie land frontier town was torn down the train was abandoned and left kind of rotting by the side of the road near the freeway where it was discovered by you know what I can't think about that right now we're headed the train was going to be doomed to rust away forever. Until Tony Ruvalo and his son Greg restored the train in the 1980s and eventually brought it here to El Dorado Park. Tony Ruvalo had actually run trains before at the Pike, an old theme park on the waterfront in Long Beach, which has also long since disappeared. And somehow he convinced the city to lease him this little corner of El Dorado Park to put in one and a half miles of track. And ever since 1995, this train has been moving happy passengers here along the 605 freeway. But really, in the old west. Incidentally, Tony Ruvalo also played drums, apparently, in the house band at Cattleman's Wharf, which I grew up right next to over by Disneyland. If any of you know that restaurant. You don't remember Cattleman's Wharf, no? All right. Well, anyway, in the background, you might be able to hear this narration here about the gold rush playing. Oh, look at that, we hit the switch track. This is where the train makes a loop before heading back to El Dorado Frontier. Anyhow, that's about it. It was just a regular train, just like you see here, going through the grass, moseying through the park, lovely views of the freeway, until 2018. When Patrick Wolovich took over the train operations with his family down here and began construction on the El Dorado Frontier theme park. They were actually only open for a few months before the whole pandemic shut everything down, but it was a mixed blessing because it gave him a chance to build a lot of the stuff that we were seeing in the park today. Anyway, I love a good miniature train ride any day of the week, any context, any circumstances. I am stoked on it. But whenever you can find a little history on it, a little backstory like that, a rich backstory of a guy who hand built the train and ran it in Orange County parks, and then it moves to an old, now abandoned movie land western town, only to be restored by a father and son team who set it up in a local park for all to enjoy and then finally have the train really get appreciated by becoming part of something bigger and grander than they ever imagined here in the form of El Dorado Frontier. Well, watch the trees. Now that, that is an awesome story. All right, we're headed back inside the gates of the old frontier. As you can see, it looks like they have a little room to expand in the future, actually more than a little, quite a bit of space. It's going to be really exciting seeing what they do with that over the next couple of years. Here we go back into the frontier itself. Watch out for goats now. All right, now check this out as we roll into the station on our left over there. That is an awfully familiar looking little engine. It looks a lot like the little engines used in the Disney movie Hot Lead and Cold Feet, which nowadays are props right near Big Thunder Mountain at the park. How cool is that? It's like a little homage and there's another homage at the station because the frog on the platform belonged to none other than the legendary Bud Hurlbut, the guy that invented 
the Calico Mine Ride. And speaking of homages and Easter eggs, there's none bigger than this town itself, which is called Ruvalo Valley. As you can see right up here on the sign above the train station, Ruvalo Valley train station. And that, of course, is in honor of Tony and Greg Ruvalo, the father and son team who restored and installed and ran and operated the El Dorado Park train for all those years before it became a part of the wild frontier. Tuba, I what? just got off the what? train. Did it yeah, was everything fantastic. Okay? Oh, yeah, it was great. There was a little incident with dynamite. It was uh -huh. a close yeah. shave, you know. Yeah. Well, you got to know a lot about close shaves. Your head is way up there. I was just noticing this panning for treasure over here. Oh, yeah. Isn't Goldie right there from Goon Holler? Yeah, that's Goldie, yeah. Yeah, right. you know Goldie. Sure. I wonder what kind of treasure they find over here in this trough. Apparently, they buy these little pouches of soil and sand. And then you can use your pan to wash it away in the flume over here. And find out what kind of gems you got. Look There's some, at that. She got some gold over there. Yeah, and Story this, has found some that, gems. And, an emerald from Emerald City, and there's some, uh, it's, it's some nether rack, I think. Nether rack? <laughs> Amethyst or something? I don't know. Tuba, have you been playing Minecraft again? <laughs> Tuba, what's the rarest thing you've ever found while you were planning for treasure here with Goldie? Uh, a Samo flange. What's that? I don't know. What? It's so rare, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't hang out with Tuba because Tuba keeps laughing and I'm laughing. I'm getting out of here. Right now the carnival games are offline for a little bit of repairs. But what I love is like how handmade and artistic they are. And look at this one. Look how it works. Look. You have to dump out these little buckets of water into a thing, fill it up to the line, the tipsy twirl. Just look at this thing. Look at that. Look at the way it works. Too, but yeah, I think you're doing it backwards. And they pour the water. What? And the water goes in the thing. Oh, in the there. Thing. And then you, you gotta fill it up at enough time. Oh, oh, uh oh, we, we broke, uh oh. Run, run, Tuba, run. Get out of here, run. I didn't see anything. Okay, over here, Cranky's jalopy. Do it, Tuba. You crank and crank, and the ball rises. Can you do it all the way? You are a winner! That means Tuba gets one of these incredible prizes! Oh, I hope I get this pokey little horse. <laughs> all right, now we're checking out more of the stuff here. We're checking out the prospector's journey, and I didn't know this, but apparently it's not just for little kids. Tuba lofts are allowed to ride this also. Oh my gosh, he can do it! Tuba, you're doing it! Oh, I can't believe this is actually working! Red rock. Here he comes! Oh boy! <laughs> Look at that Sasquatch go! Dude, Tuba is getting a heck of a workout today. How are your guns oh. doing, Tuba? Awesome! <laughs> Take that, Radiator Springs! <laughs> you're breathing awfully heavy there. You sure you don't want to try this one too? Oh, no, I don't! All <laughs> oh, 21! That's old 21. What'd you say? Well, yeah, th this one's old 21, see? It's haunted. Oh, that's why you don't want to do <laughs> yeah, it. I see. Nope. I see. <laughs> You're going to catch me. I've got a two bar in my stand. OK, here we go. You didn't tell me how hard this was. <laughs> Bye, two bar. Oh, oh, there's more. I didn't know I was so strong. Look at this. I'm putting two bar in the dust. One day you'll get there. Man, I thought I had weak arms, but the old man of the forest. <laughs> really? You got some floppy arms. Yeah, some floppy. What are those? Some floppage. <laughs> Look at these. These were all custom repurposed and rethemed from an old ride that was actually at the old original Santa's Village theme park out in the San Bernardino Mountains. Does everything here have an interesting story or what? Woo! For the shorter, short amount of time I've been here, I can't believe how much fun. I've actually had. Speaking of interesting backstories, by the way, the Crystal Corral carousel over here is another thing that Patrick and the family found kind of 
I think like rotting away in Florida? If I'm not getting that story wrong? I sort of bought this old antique carousel sight unseen and when it showed up apparently it was a total wreck. The whole thing had to be rebuilt and restored by hand. The horses were rethemed silver and gold in true frontier fashion. And those that were beyond repair were removed and replaced with something I think is a little better. Because if you don't feel like bobbing up and down on a horse, why not do it in a locomotive? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm getting the train. I'm getting the train. Wait a minute. You all right? Too much, you hit your head? Yeah, Watch your noggin. I, I have a tendency to hit myself. I think, I, I think I'll get on the train as well. Yeah, you get in there. I think it's probably safer for you to get in there, man. You're a little tall for one of these horses. Oh, there you go. Up, up. Cuba got his big caboose in the train. What's your train there? Someone left a half a carrot? Oh, lucky. All right, here we go. I'm totally getting inside the engine. I definitely called it, and I definitely got it. Tuba's gonna ride behind me in the uh, train car thing. And those kids are gonna be the train robbers behind us, and we're ready. Whoa, look at this. This is awesome. I love this place, Patrick. You ready, Tuba? Whoa, I might get motion sickness. Oh. Well, good thing the vomit won't come towards me. It'll go the other way. Sorry, kids. All right, I can see the cowboy. Approaching the control panel. Hey, look at all the hand painted wood over here. This is incredible. Look at this, it's all handmade, Tuba. Yes. I'm assured it's probably safe. Don't worry. Here we go. Oh, listen. There's a whole storyline going on here. I won't spoil it for you. This is rad. Whoa. It's a little bit of a. Uh, a bit of G-forces in this old locomotive. You all right, Tuba? Yeah, we're doing great. You having fun? We got these orbits that are following me. Oh, they're following us. Well, we'll have to go a little faster then. Look at this. A nice, peaceful music going through Rubolo Valley. I can see the train moving around in the background, all peaceful. We got a cowboy over there. This is pretty fun, Tuba. Woo! Look at this! Wee! Look, everybody's having a great time! Tuba, remain seated! Remain seated! Wait a minute. What's that noise? What? What's happening? What's happening? There's a pack of bandits! on the run! What? We've got us on the run! That's all I heard! Alright, we're gonna get on the run! What's if that music change? Somehow it feels like we're going faster! There's a pack of bandits that were after us. Band-Aids. Where were they? I thought you said band-aids. I can't help it. Oh, they were like behind, just right around the horn. They were behind the, them. Right around the horn over there. Oh, right around the horn. Oh, anyways, if you're interested in tuba over here, don't forget you can get the book Tubaloth of Goon Holler. Is it on Amazon tuba? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's on probably there. All those places. Maybe eBay. Uh, probably at my merch booth soon if I can hook that up Woo-hoo. with your friend Parker. We'll see. We'll find out what we can do. Woo! I've already ridden more rides than I thought I could fit on. Uh, looks like I lost my ride partner to his adoring fans. He's off to ride the carousel again. Dude, this place is absolutely fantastic. I believe at the moment it's only open Saturdays and Sundays from 10 to 4. I double checked the website, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Ah, oh, well, it's been a couple of hours now. And I'm still having fun and I still want to stay, but there are new kids coming in, people who want to spend time with old Tuba here. Plus, I definitely want to save room in my El Dorado Frontier appetite because I think this will be the perfect place to come and do a meetup with Tuba or come and have some kind of event. I know Bob Gurr is doing a meetup here pretty soon. At some point, we'll have to figure out a way to do some sort of collaboration here or with our friend Tubala. I just made a baby cry. Was it the teeth or the smell? <laughs> well, a combo of both, I guess. I know the feeling. <laughs> I think my dentist is in Goon Holler also. Right. Jeez. All right, then. As much as I hate to do it, I think I'm going to head on out 
of Ruvalo Valley and hit the old dusty trail. But it's one price, I think it was like 15 bucks or something like that, 15, 16, 17, somewhere in there for the unlimited rides, the fun adventure. You can rent out the party area, you can rent out the picnics area, so you can bring your own food and drink, there's games. This place is absolutely fantastic. But of course, since we've ridden as many rides as we can, and I've told you as much backstory as I can about Southern California's new secret theme park. I think we're at the point where we've done our duty. Make sure to do me a favor, check out all the links down below in the description. We have an online store, store.randomland.com. Check out my friend Tuba stuff, the Eldorado Frontier, all of that's down below. <laughs> but once you've done that, you've done your duty. And then what, Tuba? Then you can go home and sleep well. Time to go home and sleep well. <laughs> we got nobody running this yet. Not today. We're closing this down today. Uh, this one was hot. I gotta replace the pump. Oh, replace those pumps. Whoa, man, the pumps. <laughs> Tuba, you going for a ride? I sure am. You're gonna play music on the train? <laughs> How did you do that? Like the train whistle. <laughs> I swallowed. <laughs> you swallowed a train whistle? Yeah. Here, oh. Let me see if I can just. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can't get it out, but we can make yeah, it work. In my esophagus. <laughs> hey, not all day, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, we're going. Oh, boy. That is so highly entertaining. The Eldorado from... Uh... Tuba! What's up? I spotted you! Oh man! Can you believe people don't believe you exist? Rats! Here we go. They say, hey, what are you? And I say, I'm an American! <laughs> Freak show that no one's up can do With the faces of the Psygoblin And a grin that's all a hobgoblin I'm ugly, but what you gonna do? Once you do that, you'll have done your duty And then what can they do, Tuba? Oh, uh, you can, uh, have a Slurpee? 